everybody, Elisa here with another Viewer Bradley Bag of the Day. Um, today, I, I'm doing a, a viewer request. Um, it was when I did my uh, top 10 slash 14 <laughs> patterns video recently. Um, I, I did uh, use this Lindsay, the Lindsay bag, to show this pattern, which is Yellow Bird from Spring 2008. My, which was made it to my my top pattern spot <laughs> and um, and the countdown and I noticed actually that I started my list at, at number 14 with a pattern that featured large birds and I ended with a pattern that features large birds so that was a nice uh, very symmetrical <laughs> bookend there so that, that appeals to the OCD girl who lives inside me try not to let her out that much. She comes out a lot when I try to do pattern placement, deal with pattern placement of Vera. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, I used the Lindsay to show, uh, talk about the yellow bird pattern and I did get a request to talk about the Lindsay. Um, and so, so I thought I would do that. Um, uh, this is the only Lindsay that I have. I really do like it. I would have more of them if I had, you know, more money to burn. <laughs> but I'm burning it on other styles right now. So, um, but I do like this bag. Uh, it is a little on the small side for me. I tend to like a big bag. But what I like about it is the strap length at its shortest. It, I, I will give all the adjust the different adjustment lengths, but. At its shortest, I like that it. it gets the bag up nice and high under my arm, which is what I like. It gets a nice short strap drop, so it's kind of a nice small shoulder bag kind of option for me. And that's primarily how I use it. And then sometimes if I'm carrying it that way, I'll just let it hang from my hand as well when I'm walking. And this is it at its shortest. So the strap drop. So the strap adjusts from 28 at its shortest, which is what it is here to about 49, 50 inches at its longest. Uh, and I will adjust it and put it on so people can see. And when I when I have when I do wear it crossbody, I need to put it out to that full length, the longest length. And so I feel like if you're and I'm not that tall, I'm 5'4. Um, I'm not I mean I'm not as petite as I used to be. Thank you, quarantine. <laughs> self-quarantine uh, apparently decided to just eat my body weight in cookies um, <laughs> so um, if you but if you are a little bit you know bigger person I, I'm I wonder if this the strap you might have trouble with the strap that it might not be long enough um, to be comfortable for for everybody every body size and height um, but this is the the 28 inch length and I really do like it because I can wear it this way which is how, how I primarily wear it or like I said I you know I'll just walk around carrying it that way but um, I do tend to just sort of carry it this way I like it I like that my arm covers covers it you know, keeps it helps keep it a little secure. It was very nice. I think it's a it's a nice bag, and I like the width of the strap. The strap is one and a half inches wide, so you get a nice bit of the pattern that, that you can see there, and it's also comfortable. I mean, it's not quilted, but there's something in there. It's not just you know like two pieces of fabric sewn together. There's something in there, like facing or something, that's giving it just a little bit of cushion. And so it has a nice feel to it. This this buckle is plastic, and so this makes it a little tough to adjust. Um, and I can adjust that now. I mean, we'll go over the bag dimensions and the uh, features. There aren't that many features, but um, I, I might as well, while I'm standing up, I might as well adjust it. So you know, like with the bags and the the crossbody bags now in the signature line. Those metal uh, crossbody uh, strap buckles really slide around nicely, and yet I feel like, for me anyway, they stay in place. They stay where I put them. But 
they do slide around nicely, so they're easy to work, even when you're wearing the bag. And so if you, that's nice. I like that because you might be out and you want to quickly adjust to, a cro to wear something crossbody. And it's harder to adjust this. I feel like I really need to sort of work at it. I need to stop. I need to feed the strap through. And then I need to pull it. You know, it doesn't just, you can't just yank it. I mean, you can, but it's not sliding nice and easy. Um, and so I, I really do, it gets all sort of bunched up under the buckle there when you do that sometimes. So I, I do appreciate that about the current um, crossbody. Um, straps. And I feel like the ones in the uh, factory outlet styles don't adjust as easily. They, they are stiffer and so I um, tend not to like them as much. I really like the signature line crossbody buckles on those straps. I think they, they work really well. So I'm getting it, I'm putting it out all the way to the longest. That's where I need it to be, like I said. Um, so it hits, this is where I would want it to hit. That it's at its longest. So there's no wiggle room here for me. And so if you are someone who's taller, or maybe you're a little bit bigger bone person, um, I could see where this might not hit you in a spot where you like. I mean, it might, it might be up here or something, you know, because your body type is different. So I feel like the crossbodies today, maybe are, that they're doing, are a little bit. They give you a little bit more flexibility with those strap length, um, more room to play with there. I think it looks great. I mean, I think it, it's very cute and it's comfortable. And this strap, like I said, it's nice to get a little bit of the pattern there and it's also comfortable. It's very soft. I mean, I don't have a problem with a thinner crossbody strap on a small bag, but when a bag is bigger and you might load it up, you want a little bit, well, I find I want a wider strap because otherwise it really, I really. I'm aware of it cutting into my muscle there, my, the heart of my shoulder. So your basic dimensions on this, uh, it's about 10, I think this way, or 11 this way I think it was, and a, about like 9 and a half, 10 top to bottom. And um, the base is about, I think it was about 4 this way did have a tape measure somewhere the dog was chewing on before she fell asleep. <laughs> chewing off my, she's chewing off my tape measure inch by inch. Um, yeah, yeah, four inches this way, four inches. So the front is just, you know, the thing that's nice about this bag as it relates to a pattern is that it really highlights that trim very nicely. And for me, Yellow Bird, which I, again, spring 2008, is all about the birds. So, I mean, you know, if, if you don't get good birds this pattern, I feel like you're just wasting your time. And as, mu as nice as the swirly, uh, fanciful foliage and line work is, and I do love that. I appreciate that. That's part of this pattern. It's part of what makes this pattern appealing. You've got to have the birds. I mean, that's the subject matter. And so, you know, when I saw the bird there, but then also a good part of the trim where the bird in the trim was not cut off, you know, that, that was also um, made the bag appealing. But look at also this flower in the in the trim. Look at all the um, it's blowing out a little bit. The light meter doesn't know what to do with black and white. Right, it wants everything to be eighteen percent gray. But just the birds. It's it's all about the birds for me in this in this pattern. And then on the back, saw the bird there. And so I went for this particular one. Um, 
I don't think it was new with tags, but it was very good use condition. I mean, not too soft. No wear, no worn spots. I got it on eBay, I think, a long time ago. Like I said, I would have more of these, but I, you know, I just don't have the money right now. But maybe someday I would, you know, look look for a few more patterns in, in this style. I do like it. It's comfortable. So you got this nice flap, and I'm partial to a, a flap on a bag. I like it. I like the security of it. I, I just like the look of it. I know some people don't like flaps. Like I like the Carson North-South tote. It's got that big flap. Um, so it's got that. And then... A little bit more of the fabric on the underside of the flap and the front just has these two slip pockets and they sort of have a pleat detail in there which is nice and they're edged with the fabric so that's nice finishing and it's a magnetic snap closure which I like yeah I mean, uh, nothing beats the covered magnetic closure <laughs> love that feel of the covered ma magnet and the sound it makes but um but this is good, better than the pin snap. Really don't like the pin snap closure. So the magnetic snap closure is good. And then, um, on the back, sorry about that, the magnet felt weird for a minute, like it was slipping around inside the flap, but I think it's good. On the back is the zipper pocket, so that's nice, an exterior, secure exterior pocket. I prefer that to a slip pocket, I like that. Although, if, the, if it's up against your body, it's not as much of a problem if it's a slip. And then inside, I just, I tend not to take this bag when I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Like, primarily, I was using this bag of when, when you still could go out to dinner. When I would go out to dinner with my husband, and he, you know, I don't need to take my GPS then. He's driving. I don't need to take a whole lot of stuff, just my wallet and, you know, my phone and, like, tissues or lip gloss or something so I, I don't have much in here now just a little bit to give it some body but there's no um, there's no pockets in the inside so normally like this is the Carson cell phone crossbody and normally if you've seen some of their videos you know I slip it in a, an interior pocket um, upright if I can and I, can, I, mean, I can put it in here upright and it, it's fine the bag will close but there's no pockets in there so I just had it lying on its side along with the um, all-in-one crossbody that I'm using as a wallet. So you can see there's nothing in there. So, I mean, if people need interior pockets, this might not be the bag for them, but I don't. I mean, yeah, I notice that, okay, I don't, I don't have a pocket to slip this in, but that is nowhere near a deal breaker for me. Um, so, and you can see a little bit of, oh, and there's a removable base. I won't try to take it out because I'm afraid I'll dent it. Um, but the, this piece of fabric on the bottom is a sleeve. It's open at the ends. It's tacked down on the sides, but it's open on the narrower ends, and you can slip the cardboard in there. Um, I tend to do that when the, I turn the bag inside out and do that. But again, you have to be very careful because I'm turning the bag back to the right side with the board in there. It's a little precarious, and you don't want to, you know, break the board. You don't want to dent the board. Um, you can always replace the board, but it's just a pain. But yeah, you know, just wanted to show the lining a little bit, which is these are these nice sort of floral medallion type uh, shapes on this just great yellow. I mean, it's blowing out. Unfortunately, I always say I feel like a broken record. It's blowing out. Um, because the light meter doesn't know quite what to do. But it's such a nice, warm, um, rich, sunny yellow. It's a deep yellow. It's, it's a good yellow. It's a, it's a happy yellow. Same kind of yellow that's on the, you know, on the birds. That's coming out. That yellow is coming out. Oh, there it just blew out again. For a moment there, that yellow was the right deep, rich tone. It's a little bright here today. So when I get farther back, you can sort of see how it gets a little bit deeper. The yellow gets a little deeper in tone, and that's more accurate. You know, look all the, when you stand back a little bit, you can see the swirl, the swirliness of the foliage, which is great, and that curly Q tail is great. 
So that's it, you know. Oh, and I did forget the two side, the east west pockets on the outside. Sort of like the, you know, the concept of the on the go with the east west pockets, but these have a tie that you know feeds through grommets, and you can sort of fold a pleat in there, which is what I've done. So I have it sort of pulled tight. Because I don't like the side pockets to stick out. Like on the current on the go, they really stick out those side pockets, and it's very it looks very boat like to me. I, I don't I don't I'm not crazy about that. On the smaller on the go, it doesn't happen on the large on the go. So that, those are the side pockets. Again, you can see the grommets there with the tie going through it. I like that. I like that little just that little design element kind of because you, you know there's a sort of throwaway pockets they're so small you're probably not going to use them for much maybe with chapstick or something small tissues um, but that was it just your just a quick one I mean it is a it's a very small bag with not not too many features but like I said it's it's comfortable and it's nice looking it's got a nice shape nice proportions the strap is comfortable, and I like the shortest strap length. I like the strap drop that it gets me when I set it that way. So I, I do like the bag for that reason. I definitely would get another one if I, you know, have more money. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope I hope that that was helpful um, to to the person who wanted to um, want to get a better look at the at the Lindsay. Um, Anyway, hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.